going on youtubers so today I'm gonna show you how to convert to hydro boost um, this is gonna be for 96 to 98 and I'm gonna show you guys everything that you're gonna need to make this work so I'm choosing to do a 96 through 98 hydro boost um, because it's a little bit thinner than the 99 through 04s um, and especially if you're doing a coyote swap well which I'm not but maybe later on down the road I might end up doing that so um, I don't have a 99 through 04 hydro boost right here in front of me to compare the sizes but the 96 through 98 is a little bit thinner than the 99 through 04s. Um, as far as the master cylinder, um, now I've been doing my research here, so this is actually a 96 through 98 GT. Um, same thing as the Cobra, so it doesn't matter. You get a 96 or 98 Cobra or GT. Um, these master cylinders have a one inch bore and a 1.41 um, push rod depth. So that's for the rod that goes in through here. And then these brake lines or master cylinder lines for uh, from Maximum Motorsports, 60 bucks. And like I said, this is for a 96 or 98 GT. And they're the same price as the Cobras, and it's the same setup. So there's nothing different at all. So you can't go wrong. Um, now, I got these fittings and hoses from Amazon. And this is just a 3 8 um, fuel line hose. I think it's uh, 300 psi um, burst pressure. So this is going to be for the low pressure side. And I got a 3 8 um, barb fitting uh, T. So that's going to go for the low pressure side. And I got this uh, PTFE. Hose, um, I think this is good for God, um, maybe like 8,000 psi. Um, and I got this on Amazon, it's a kit from Evil Energy, and I paid about 55 bucks for this. So you get 10 feet of uh, PTFE hose, and let's see. Got a little tool here, and you got some fittings. So we got a um, looks like uh, you got two 90s elbows. Got a straight or two straights, and this is all 6AN fittings. Um, and then we got two. 45 degree fittings, um, which I'm going to use just one on for the high pressure side on the uh, power steering rack. So we're going to use one of these. Um, and then I had to buy these um, separately. So I got uh, two 180 degree uh, 6AN fittings, and this is for the PTFE. And I got one here, and this could be for the low pressure side. And I got uh, the 45 that's going to go to the uh, power steering rack, and that's going to be for the low pressure side. And then these are the fittings you're going to need. Um, to connect to your uh, hydro boost. Okay, so... 
this one you're only going to need one it's a uh, male to m16 by 1.5 female straight so you're going to need one of these and this does have an o-ring and then you're going to need two of these which is a 6an to 16 millimeter by 1.5 with the uh, o-ring um, and I got all these on Amazon, so I paid about $11 each for these. Um, this one was about like 12 bucks, And I'll put a link in the description below. Um, I can't remember all the prices for everything. But, um, yep, this is pretty much all the fittings that you're going to need to get all this set up. Um, oh, and also I got... Well, I only paid 10 bucks, and this is also on Amazon. Um, just some hose clamps. So, and these are the um, spring band hose clamps. And, you know, you guys could use whatever clamps you decide. So, I just got a case of these for, like I said, 10 bucks on Amazon. And to complete your conversion, you're definitely going to need this conversion kit from Maximum Motorsports. And I got this from LMR and a couple other fittings that I needed. Um, so the conversion kit was like, it's pretty pricey. They're about $260 for the conversion kit. This is a, this goes to your power steering pump and this is the fitting that you're going to need. Um, 12 bucks. This is all from LMR. So this fitting, 12 bucks on LMR and then Maximum Motorsports the fittings for your power steering rack so this is everything that you're going to need real quick I think the uh, this gold one or yellow is going to be your high pressure on the power steering rack so that's going to be the the bottom one let me show you here real quick on these instructions <clears throat> so guys this is really important um, the top one which is going to be the black fitting the top one's actually your low pressure and then the bottom one's going to be the golden or the yellow um, and then that's going to be your um, that's going to be the high pressure side so don't get these two mixed up and they do have torque ratings and they do come with o-rings and some thread sealant so you're definitely going to need these um, now in the kit here, it comes with a new brake pedal or the arm. You got the pedal here and you can see there's uh, different holes and you could just adjust them as, as needed. So you go up or you know you go back, whatever is comfortable for you guys. Um, comes with this uh, sandwich plate here nice build aluminum and I think the stock ones plastic got your hardware here um, and this big socket which I'm going to show you what this is for and then this is the adapter plate and you can see it's got the little uh, keyway or the little notch here for the little keyway so it only goes on one way, you can't get this wrong. So let me show you real quick. All right, so basically the stock plate on the Hydro Boost, this is gonna come off and you can see it's got a little ring that, that we need to take off. And then we're gonna take this old plate and we're gonna put this adapter plate on. And then this big socket um, that comes in the kit it's going to slide right over and then we got to take this off okay guys let me uh give you an idea of um, how i'm going to set this up here so let's grab these um these uh, male to male fittings here and you can see i got the try to focus here yep see the o-ring make sure the o-ring's on and put some like thread sealant or thread tape and then these are just going to screw right on in. So this one, like I said, make sure your O-ring's on. 
and uh, put some sealant on. And this is going to be your uh, female to male. So we'll screw this on. Now these two are actually your, it's going to be the high pressure um, side. So this is going to go to your power steering pump. And then this one's going to go to the bottom of the uh, power steering rack. And then this one's going to be your low side. And you're going to grab your other fitting. So you got the O-ring on. And like I said, put some thread sealing on. Thread that in. And then we're going to use these um, 180 degree fittings. And like I said, we got the two for the uh, high pressure PTFE hose. And then this one's just going to be a push on uh, just for the rubber hose. This is going to be the low pressure side. So let me show you what I got here. Okay, so setup's gonna look something like this. And like I said, um, you're gonna run your, for the high pressure, you make sure you use your uh, PTFE hose um, so you're gonna just uh, run it you know this one's gonna go to your power steering pump you gonna run the hose and cut the length which I'll show you how to do all this on my next video um, I'm just kind of giving you an idea of how this is all gonna set up here and then this is going to go to, remember the bottom is your high pressure on the power steering rack. So we're going to, this is going to go to your power steering rack. And then this is going to be the low pressure. So you're going to run a hose from here. And it's going to go to the end of this T here. And then from this part of the T, you're going to run this to the low pressure side on your power steering rack and then this side um, same thing it's all low pressure you're going to run this to your uh, cooler line all right guys like i said i just want to you know give you a rundown as far as what you're going to need to make this conversion happen so uh, be prepared to spend some money because that conversion kit is not cheap um, the fittings weren't too bad uh, the master cylinder if you want a brand new one like I said you go it's gonna run you about a hundred bucks and then 50 or sixty dollars for these um, master cylinder brake lines and as far as the hydro boost I end up getting mine on eBay for a hundred bucks and it was like twenty dollars shipping shipping and handling so about 120 120 120 to 130 dollars for a uh, for a hydro boost, um, and this did actually come with a uh, with a master cylinder, but um, it was kind of dirty, and I tried cleaning it up, and but uh, I'm just picky, so I like to have my stuff new so i end up just getting a new master cylinder i tried to get everything as detailed as possible because every video that i watch um you know wasn't you know too specific with everything so but um uh, all right guys hopefully this video helps some of you guys out and i will see you on the next one see ya